The DLF is designed to save one of our ships from a missile attack. The training system that was initially provided didn't meet our requirements. It's a 20th century paper-based system. And so we approached the OEM to perhaps develop something a little bit differently. In concert with their technology partner, Staples, we have developed a point of need training solution based on virtual reality. So it's been a two year co-design process. So we've been working with the Navy to look at what are a kind of one to two of the key problems that you could use virtual reality to solve. And the DLF was clearly one of those things where you have difficult access to equipment and you need to be able to train. If something is out at sea and you have people that need to train on that piece of equipment, it makes a lot of sense to give them access virtually. We've had 40 to 50 people through this and every single one has not only given us written feedback, but it's constructive feedback and how, how to make the product better. So we've got an engaged, enthusiastic bunch of people. And that's reflective, I think, of the environment we're setting up and the technology and the way that people can pace their own learning. I think defence is a really good example of an industry that can be completely disrupted by virtual training. We know nothing about defence and, and they know nothing about how we innovate, so together we can make something really cool. And we get to geek out a lot about where the future is going and how this technology can be used. So the partnership we've got with the OEM and with Staples especially has really widened our view of the way we can train 21st century learners using 21st century technology.